How many times have you seen this? Someone gives a little child something, a toy, a piece of candy, and the child just takes it and walks away. And then the child's parent or someone says, no, no, say thank you. Say thank you. And the child comes back and says, thank you. And then runs away and goes and, and, and play. You know, sometimes we're like that. God does something for us. And we just go our merry way. We don't adequately say thank you. Or maybe there's some things in our life that we just say, well, I, I don't see what good it is. I'm just going to go about my business. But you know what? A little gratitude goes a long way. You need to go back and say thank you. Gratitude. We'll talk about it next, coming up on Walk Points. Praise the Lord, this is Reverend Michael Jakes, and this is Walk Points, and today I'd like to talk about gratitude. We're all familiar with the story in Luke uh, chapter 17, the story of the ten lepers. The Bible said that only one came back. Let me read that verse in Luke 17, verse 15. It says, And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back and with a loud voice glorified God and fell down on his face at his feet, giving him thanks. And he was a Samaritan. We need to learn how to Go back and say thank you. But you say, well, I've, I, I'm a thankful person. I don't forget to thank God. I give him glory. I honor his name. Sometimes we don't say thank you. And there are certain things in our life that we don't feel that we need to say thank you for. For instance, difficult circumstance. What's, am I going to thank God for a circumstance? Am I going to thank God for something that I'm in that I don't know why I'm in? Am I going to give God thanks for something that is uh, confusing to me and I don't understand why this is happening to me? Am I supposed to thank God for that? The answer? Yes. Because difficult circumstances teach you how to trust God, how to lean on God. That's why you need to thank God for those circumstances now don't get me wrong I'm not a pessimist I'm not telling you to glory in in bad things I'm just saying be mindful that everything that happens to you has already come through his hands God has placed his seal of approval if I may use that phrase he has placed his seal of approval upon it and he has already pronounced and proclaimed in the streets of heaven that you can Handle it. Because he will never place more on you than you can take. So Lord, I thank you. Lord, I don't understand this thing. Lord, I don't know why this is happening. I don't know why this did happen. But Lord, I thank you because it has come from your hands. And you have deemed that I can deal with it with your help and with your strength. Lord, you are teaching me to trust you. And it goes the same with trouble. When trouble comes in your life. I don't know what kind of trouble. But when trouble comes, see, trouble teaches me to know that God is there. Trouble teaches me that his presence will never leave me nor forsake me. What does the psalmist say? The psalmist says uh, that God is a very present help in the time of trouble. So who is in your trouble? God is in your trouble. At all times. So no matter what you're dealing with. No matter what you're going through. We need to know. Lord I, I need, we need to say Lord I thank you. Lord I thank you. I thank you for this circumstance. That is going to teach me to trust you. Lord I thank you for this trouble. I, I, I thank you for this adversity. Because I'm learning to recognize your presence. I'm learning to recognize your presence. So Lord once again. I know that you will make a way of escape that I will be able to bear it. That's from 1 Corinthians 10 and verse 13. And finally, finally, we need to go back and say thank you for the enemies in our lives. The enemies. Oh, no. No, he did not say that. Yes, the enemies in your life. I need to go back and say thank you 
Because what do your enemies do? Your enemies teach you how to be tenacious. Your enemies teach you how to stand firm. Your enemies teach you how to fight. Your enemies teach you how to battle. Don't you know you're a soldier? Don't you know you're a soldier in this army? Don't you know that we are in a war? We wrestle not against flesh and blood. So we need to be thankful for the enemies in our life. Because our enemies help us to be strong. Yeah, you. You think you're coming against me, enemy. Whatever you are. And your enemy may be something uh, that is not tangible. It may not be a person. You know, it may not be a person. It may not be the enemy, the devil per se. It may be something like depression. It may be something like doubt. Something like that of that nature. Or it could be simply the enemy. The devil himself. Or demons. It could be oppression. But these things are enemies. And we need to thank God. Lord, I thank you for this enemy in my life. Because enemies are a necessity in the life of a Christian. How am I going to get strong? How am I going to flex? How am I going to learn how to fight against the wiles of the devil unless the devil, who is my enemy, comes up against me? I don't want to be a soft Christian. I don't want to be a Christian that never has circumstances. I don't want to be a Christian who never has problems. I don't want to be a Christian who never has adversity. I don't want to have, be a Christian that never has an enemy in his life. We need enemies in our life they teach us how to fight we fight remember the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds so we know that when we fight it's a spiritual battle we don't battle against flesh and blood make sure that you're giving God thanks so if there's something in your life that you haven't adequately given God thanks for, you need to go back. Like this one leper who was a Samaritan. He went back and said, thank you. He turned back and with a loud voice, he glorified God, fell down at Jesus' feet and gave, and gave thanks. This is what I need to do. This is what you need to do. Go back. Those confusing times when you had questions, you were wondering what's going on. Go back and say thank you. Go back and say thank you for that one who's been talking about you. Go back and say thank you. Go back to that place of trouble in your life. Where you didn't know what was going on. Where you didn't know which end was up. Go back and say thank you. Begin to glorify God. And you will see God move you in a very special way. Amen. This is Reverend Michael Jakes and this has been Walk Points. And my prayer is that you would get the point and have a little gratitude. Begin to thank God for what he has done and for what he's going to do. May God bless you.